Hey yo, what up guys? It is your lad DJ Wacky and I'm back with another FIFA 20 player review. And guys, yesterday a brand new team of the week was just came out. And you know what? For the second informed version, I had to go ahead and fetch this fella. Raul Gimenez, 85 rated. Only cost me 32k, so it's not too bad. 6 foot 2, 4 star week 4, incredible overall. But check out this attribute details over here, people. 83 pace, which is quite decent, but acceleration at 77. Definitely worth sticking a hunter or hawk card chemistry style on him i don't recommend any other chem cards 85 shooting overall with 90 attack 87 finishing 87 shot pass but look at the penalties 898 overall you know if you ever go into that situation this is the person you're going to want to select passing 77 not too bad 81 at dribbling as well but the balance is quite worrying at low 52 and then physical overall great green stats again aggression strength stamina all stand out jumping when it comes to hope boosts it up and especially with that heady accuracy at 89 so check this out instantly that combination comes into gameplay within the first six minutes of his opening game debut he just pretty much striked it with that jumping header over there absolutely formidable that six foot two standout ability definitely does work on him and to be honest guys that was not just the only time he scored a goal like this for me so it, within the first game literally in the 45 within the first half of the game he, w he had about six shots on on target as well just back to back striking it in and out it was a credible teamwork between him Zaha and Rashford like if you utilize the pace of Zaha and Rashford backed up with the shot accuracy of Gimenez they were just a deadly alliance honestly I had absolutely a fantastic time with him in this opening debut he was just pretty much in and out constantly uh, in the attacking area he definitely stayed up there a lot more and yes this is a penalty over here you can see that I mentioned it earlier that he's got incredible penalty penalty stats this is my kind of fault I did miss that but he hit the bar quite neatly and to be honest in terms of accuracy it was just pretty much going over there a nice good finish shot over there that hits the top crossbar very unlucky not to score that but within the second half he pretty much makes his hat trick up over here again another combination crossed in over there nice volley pretty much in the back of the net nothing's going to stop that shot power literally Gomez stood out so much when it comes to that shot power another example again this is his third goal to make up that hat trick just comes inside the box bam unleashes an absolute beast of a shot honestly he's just formidable the accuracy that he has the power behind his foot is just deadly and no matter where you position him in the attack area he's going to pretty much be inside the box he's going to be scoring them goals you're going to see more opportunities being buried up over here again another example in the second game over here how difficult area is that like you expect someone like Aguero who's a high standard card to be scoring them difficult accuracy is kind of like a reminder to me of old school Ibrahimovic um, he lacks the physical a bit more of the physical but makes it up by having a lot more pace I think it definitely got utilized quite well with that Hawk card I didn't really struggle on his pace but one thing I did kind of worry about was his uh, dribbling overall so I'll get round to that but honestly people I had five games with him my opponents ended up rage quitting so you can see over there that was a rage quit four minutes into the next game he scores it over here as well absolutely unleashes it in straight away and then again another opportunity over here he assists it quite neatly to Zaha back to back one two touch Gimenez is still over there on top but I ended up bearing it nice assistance from Gimenez over there and my opponent ends up rage quitting like literally in five games I've played with this fella I had so many footages to get hold of him but I couldn't mash it all up together I had to obviously go ahead and do this review for you guys and I was just honestly really really impressed bear in mind I've only spent 32k on this fella it just felt like I caught myself a bargain usually when I do a player review I end up buying a person and selling it so I can obviously get back some of the coins but for me I'm actually really determined to use Gomez on the FUT weekend league just this weekend just to see how he performs overall because within five games he just stood out for me he was just booming it away blasting away even outside distance shots over there that was just me pretty much going for it but you can see over there volleys in and out all these strike abilities that he had when it comes to anything like that he was just so reliable his passing was great but going back to on his dribbling 
he does lack the balance overall. So if he does get tackled, you're gonna find it kind. Of, you're gonna find him tumbling over. And the other thing is, his dribbling skill works ain't so great. Like it felt like he was just a bit of a slow bust to be to be honest. But if you end up using him just to boost his pace up a bit, then uh, pass it forward, then you can work with that. That's what Gamani should be utilized for. He's not gonna be used for skill moves at the end of the day. If you prefer using skill moves on a player, then Gimenez is probably not for you. But if you're a Wolverhampton fan, if you like running the combination of a pacey up front along with being backed up with a powerful up front, deadly on the accuracy, then it's going to be a great combination to have. That is why my Godfather level deserves to be a 9 out of 10 stars. Honestly, I was really debating to give him 8.5, but considering how much he cost me, I had to give him a 9. The other thing is as well, Winter Upgrades is coming out soon. I imagine Gomez getting boosted up, and with that means his team of the week card would naturally be started up as well. Wolverhampton's had a fantastic season so far, and Gomez has obviously been one of their standout players. So I, I might even think that this fella is a great investment for anyone running a BPL team. Or if you are a Wolverhampton fan, then it's definitely worth going ahead and testing this fella out. You're not going to go wrong with him. Anyway, guys, I hope you appreciated this review. I hope it um, obviously helped your mind up if you want to go ahead and cop Gomez. Let me know in the comment section below. Share your thoughts if you had uh, purchased Gomez. Tell, tell the other communities what you thought about him. If you did appreciate the video as well, people, hit that like button because honestly, that supports a small YouTuber like myself. Of course, a lot more FIFA content will be on its way, so do subscribe to my channel. People, it's been your lad DJ Wacker. I'll see you all next time. Peace up. Group A, we got uh, Club Berg, 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 Berg. 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 Yeah. I, I don't know, it's a freaking Belgian. They've club. lost anyway.